Back one on the nose right now. Okay, I'm high cover on you. Get a fuck. Get a lock him up. Lock him up. Man, shoot him. Box two. I can't. I don't have a fucking phone. Tally two. Tally two. Box one. Box one. Oh, Jesus. Agent Orange. Agent Orange was a herbicide and defoliant used by the U.S. military during the Vietnam War in Operation Ranch Hand. The compound is a mix of two separate herbicides. The compound 245-TEC-T and 24-TEC-D. Its uses were to damage greenery and reduce foliage, which the Viet Cong was using to hide and attack U.S. troops. The use of Agent Orange resulted in major lifelong health problems for both the directly exposed and the children of the exposed. Agent Orange was originally created in the late 1940s and was used to control undergrowth in areas like railroads and power lines. After the start of the Vietnam War, the US military manufactured over 20 million gallons of Agent Orange to use in the Vietnam War. Agent Orange was intended to reduce foliage and reveal enemy troops hiding in the trees and also to destroy enemy crops and disrupt food supply. And it was successful, but the aftermath health effects were something that the world could have never imagined. During World War II, the United States and the United Kingdom started researching and developing herbicides to use in chemical warfare. In 1943, the University of Illinois' Urbana-Champaign's botanist and bioethicist Arthur Galston was contacted by the United States Department of the Army. He was contacted because he had discovered defoliants, which would later be used in Agent Orange. In 1945, while the U.S. was involved in World War II, the U.S. Army conducted several tests on the herbicide mixture on the Bushnell Army Airfield in Florida. Satisfied with the results, the Army began a full-scale production where they would have used it in Japan during the Operation Downfall in 1946 and the one I ended before. Shortly after World War II ended, the U.S. continued to research and test out different concentrations, mixtures, and blends of this herbicide across multiple different climates and foliage. To include locations in Florida, modern-day Tanzania, and Tanganyika, which was a British colonial territory in East Africa, and even Kenya, where agents' orange effects were more targeted towards exterminating the tsetse fly bringing us to the Malayan National Emergency, which was the first non-experimental combat-focused use of Agent Orange. The Malayan National Liberation Army led ambushed attacks against the British military. The British Army retaliated with experimenting with Agent Orange to reduce foliage and thus prevent ambushes. After the Malayan Emergency, the U.S. had decided that a new president and outlet for warfare had been created. By mid-1961, civil war had already begun in Vietnam, and former President Ngo Dinh Diem of South Vietnam requested American aid to defoliate the jungles of Vietnam to reveal enemy North Viet Cong hiding in the jungle. By August, the U.S. agreed and proceeded to aid the Republic of Vietnam Air Force in conducting herbicide application on its jungles. Come November, former President John F. Kennedy authorized Operation Ranch Hand, which allowed the U.S. Air Force to conduct herbicide operations in Vietnam on behalf of the Vietnamese military. The U.S. military sprayed around 20 million U.S. gallons of defoliants and herbicides in parts of Vietnam, eastern Laos, and small parts of Cambodia. For reference, an Olympic-sized pool holds 660,000 U.S. gallons. The goal of this was to deforest the rural land, depriving guerrilla and enemy troops food and concealment, also revealing hidden bases, points of interest, and possible ambush sites along roads and rivers. 
Samuel P. Huntington argued that this would also enforce the concept of forced draft urbanization, which would force rural impoverished citizens to flee to the city for food, reducing homeland support to the Viet Cong. Agent Orange was sprayed in numerous ways. The most common was from helicopters and low-flying C-123 planes. It was also sprayed from trucks, boats, and backpacks on troops. The first spraying operation took place in Tan Son Nhut Air Base in South Vietnam on January 9th, 1962. The U.S. Air Force record states that a grand total of at least 6,000 542 spraying operations were carried out under Operation Ranch Hand. By 1971, 12% of South Vietnam had been sprayed at a rate estimated to be 13 times the recommended dosage by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for Agent Orange. And in South Vietnam, an estimated 39,000 square miles were completely destroyed with some areas having such a high concentration of the compound where water and soil concentrations were hundreds of times greater than the rate considered safe by the Environmental Protection Agency. Eventually, the U.S. began targeting cultivated food supplies. U.S. troops were told that they were destroying enemy Viet Cong food supplies, which they were targeting, but the Viet Cong just moved into local villages and confiscated food, which in turn did disrupt the food supply of innocent Vietnamese civilians. Many experts at the time, to include Arthur Galston, the man mentioned earlier in this video who discovered the defoliants used in Agent Orange, argued against the use of it in warfare. Pleas were made to the United Nations that the US was violating 1925 Geneva Protocols regulating the use of chemical and biological weapons. The U.S. managed to win these cases and object these pleas. Many of these pleas were retaliated by stating that Agent Orange was simply a herbicide being used to reduce greenery in the area to reveal enemy fighters and not being used to target or injure any human. Thus, it could not be tried in court as chemical warfare. The U.S. also argued that if they were to be tried, the United Nations would also have to go after the United Kingdom and its Commonwealth nations for its use during the Malayan emergency. In the end, the use of Agent Orange was deemed lawful by the United Nations. Back in the United States, during 1965 and 1968, a series of experiments were being conducted and carried out, and researchers being conducted on the effects of Agent Orange on animals they had come into contact with it. Physical malformations were found in these animals. These findings were brought to the White House in October of 1969, where operations of Agent Orange were being reduced. And on April 15th, 1970, the use of Agent Orange was completely banned. Two brigades of the American Division, now known as the 23rd Infantry Division, continued to use Agent Orange into the summer, violating laws around its suspension. Investigations led to discipline against the unit and its commanders. Files were falsified to hide the use of Agent Orange. Crop destruction and deforestation had halted completely by June 3rd, 1971. There are many health effects that resulted from the use of Agent Orange. Its exposure increased a person's risk of contracting various types of cancers, including prostate cancer, respiratory cancer, and lung cancer. Some other health effects reported include soft tissue sarcomas, chronic B-cell leukemia, Hodgkin's lymphoma, multiple myeloma, neural tube defects, spina bifida, and severe birth deformities in offspring. The Vietnamese government declared that upwards of around 4 million Vietnamese citizens were exposed to Agent Orange, with 3 million suffering illnesses. Numbers also include exposed children. Information released by the Red Cross of Vietnam 
estimate around 1 million people being permanently disabled by the exposure. The US government refutes these claims by stating that numbers are unreliable. Soil samples from many of the 28 former US bases in Vietnam where Agent Orange was stored and transported still have a high concentration of over 350 times the international recommended amount. The contamination continues to affect the people of Vietnam, poisoning food supplies, providing people with skin conditions, respiratory problems, and cancers. US troops were told not to worry and that the chemicals were harmless to humans. Once the war was over and the troops returned home, multiple service members and veterans reported having declines in health, wives having miscarriages, and children with birth deformities. As a result, many claims were filed to the VA, the Department of Veterans Affairs, but most were unable to provide evidence of these conditions developing as a result of time in service or after a year of discharge. In the long run, the VA only compensated 486 claims, although it received nearly 40,000 claims. The use of Agent Orange in Vietnam serves as a stain on American history. Many people were harmed as a result of the use. Agent Orange was a devastating tool used by the US government, which forever damaged the Vietnamese people and the landscape.